Surprise! It's Moomin. It's, it's, it's adventures from Moomin Valley. So, something that I've been uh, intending to watch. But I thought, hey, why not just why not just do it for the channel? You know, I, I know I know very very little about this series. I just ha it's just had glowing recommendations from like everyone I've talked to about it. So. Yeah, I'm gonna get into it. I'm, honestly, I'm getting a very 90s Sanryu vibe. Like, like 90s animation uh, Hello Kitty, you know? There's Moomin, There's a boy. our hero. <laughs> our hero? Look at him. He's rotund. God, this is gorgeous. It's like a Bob Ross painting in every shot. I think before our story starts, we better wake everyone up. What a way to start a series. I like it. We'll all have a nice big breakfast. I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to add a mother to to my top ten moms list that I might make at some point, who knows? We'll see. We'll see how we'll see how things goes, and we'll see if if she if she is a contender, because she's she's very cute. Wouldn't it be great to the stairs? <laughs> I mean, they're all very cute. More fun this way. Snuffkin. Snuffkin. Oh, hello, Please go away, you two. We are going to do something really exciting. Like what, Moomin? I can think of more exciting things to do than this. Yet another cute character. I'm gonna love everyone in this show, aren't I? Also, to my understanding, uh, Moomin and his family are trolls. But, but they're apparently... Why do they always have to do something exciting? <laughs> Moomin trolls. That, that's like calling... That's like being named human. If you're human. A top hat. I wonder whose hat it is. I don't know, but I know Papa would like it. Hmm, it's much too big. <laughs> Look! <laughs> oh dear, what's it? <laughs> I can nearly get inside it. <laughs> Such wholesome vibes. You see, I never for my old one. Oh, oh. <laughs> They I look like move. beans! Sniff, you're not still feeding your face, mm. are you? Do you ever dream, Sniff? Only nightmares about having no food at all, little Mai. <laughs> An <laughs> Sounds like a reasonable nightmare. Well then. Yeah, basically all I knew about this show is that it was about a family of little trolls that have, that have, like, fantasy misadventures happen to them. Wow! Golly! What are they? They're clouds. Be careful! Don't touch it! It might be poisonous! It feels like cotton! Oh, oh. <laughs> right, I'm floating! Wonderful! Oh, Ground pounded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was that? Moomin Papa is having PTSD hallucinations okay. again. Have you seen what the children are doing? Yes. Look at them, they're flying about on clouds. It can't be safe. Don't worry, Papa. It's all right. I told them to be careful. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Come on, snap. she's got a point. <laughs> This is just wholesome. Like, like, you know what it's giving me? Yes, a place to hide. It's giving me kind of a Kipper vibe, but a little more eventful than Kipper. I'll hide in the hat. Like you know, you guys ever watch Kipper? That was a real chill show. I can't find Moomin anywhere. Well, he's too fat to be most places. <laughs> wow. At least he can laugh he about it. Under the hat. <laughs> what the fuck? Let me help you 
take it off. Why is it terrifying? Jesus. Terrifying. The poor boy. <laughs> now then, calm down. This won't help at all. We don't need all this noise. If you really are Moomin, then everything will be all right. Just give me a minute or two, and I'll know. Please, Mama. Oh, hush now, hush now. Yes, you're my little Moomin, all right. Oh, Mama! <laughs> all right. In one episode, she's already proved herself to be, like, within the top five. Okay? Oh. That is so sweet! Oh, my Mama. God! In the hat? Yeah, get rid of that. Let's hope it's the last we'll see of it. Guess what happens next? Moomin Mama, I gotta say, if I do make this this top ten best moms thing at some point, already with one episode, she's already in the top five. Oh my god, what a what a sweet, what a adorable. Just wonderful thing. Oh my god. I am in love. Like, they didn't need to make Moomin's, like, transformed self look genuinely horrifying. But, honestly, I appreciate that. I appreciate that they didn't, that they didn't just make him look different. They made him look upsetting. They, they made him look uncanny and horrifying. And, honestly, that increase the effect of this poor boy just just not in his just not in his right body anymore no one believes him that he that he is himself and then moomin mama oh my god my soul my goddamn soul and heart and everything i still can't get over that last episode Oh my god, just just a poor, sad, scared boy taking comfort in his mother's arms. Ah oh, you're already going for my for my goddamn heart, Moomin. Oh my god. What a first episode. Okay. I can't I can't get over it. That was too sweet. Ah oh, You're you're going straight for the kill, Moomin. Adventures of Adventures from Moomin Valley. You're going straight for the kill with that shit. Oh my god. I love it so much. I'm immediately I'm immediately into this. So let's just get right into the second into the second episode. Episode two, the magic hat. Oh Oh no. Oh please. <laughs> please don't make the boy cry again. I can't handle it. I wonder if we'll ever find anything as exciting as the hat. It was much too dangerous to keep. Look at the horrible things it did to me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the fact that there's actual continuity. Oh no. Moomin! 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 Oh. Wake up! Snork Maiden needs help! What? what? What's happened? We were playing tag and she fell into an antlion hole. We've got to get her out quickly! Well, she's been eaten. Nearly there, Snork Maiden. Just a bit further. Help me, Sniff! Give me your hand! Hurry! Look out! It's the antlion! You will look Quick. nice and tasty, I'll eat you instead! Oh. Quick, I'm sniffing! Look, I'm... Get in there, Why do I hear man. boss music? Don't you call me a big whip! He's so skinny, jeez! Are you 
When this show wants to have creepy designs, it can. I, I applaud that. Well, I've been traumatized forever. I'll never go on the beach again. I don't know why, but Snufkin kind of gives me a Geno vibe, you know? There it is. It's caught on a branch in the middle. It's turned the river into blood! Have you got it? Uh-huh. Either that or water into wine. Either way, we've got... It's, it's Jesus hat! <laughs> Don't, don't! That could have killed you, boy! Wow! It's raspberry juice! More than anything, I'm just more, more and more good. interested to see just more of these interesting creature designs. Hey, and the landscapes. Who's? The hobgoblins. The hobgoblins? Yeah, I asked the Hemulin and he told me that yeah. he was he, He's a Marvel villain. I heard about the wizard who flies in the sky. He fights the Spider-Man. Snuffkin, there's something I would like to try with the hat. Are you talking about me? Yes, about how quickly you could dig yourself into a hole in the sand. A lot quicker than you think it'll take. Moomin here says it takes you only one hour to dig a hole in the sand. But I can't believe that. Huh. Snufkin says it takes several hours, but I think he's wrong. I'll show you how long. I can dig myself in anywhere, anywhere at all, where, anywhere. Just show me. Okay, start from here. Yeah, just there, if you don't mind. All right, start counting. Ugh. I'd better sit on it. Yeah, he'll be really mad. Meanwhile, I'm being a frog on a stone. Look at me. That's what she's doing, Moomin. No, as if I knew such a thing. Of course, He's I'm got nice big frog vibes going on. Hey, what is that? Whoa. No, no hat anywhere. Holy crap. He must have changed into something else by now. Probably. It must have been long enough. I'll jump off. Either that or he drowned, Moomin. He isn't strong. He just killed a man. What the? <laughs> he turned. He turned into one of those worm things with legs. Oh. It's a hedgehog. Th that's a hedgehog. 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 <laughs> Hedgehog! Hedgehog! <laughs> I kind of feel bad for him, but he did try to eat Snork Maiden earlier. I mean, if you have a spaghetti <laughs> generator, I think you're pretty set. Oh. Mm, not exactly spaghetti. There's a tree in the cellar. A tree? That's nice. What did you say? A real tree? Yes, and it seems to be growing and growing. What have you done, little mine? <laughs> I love how... Come in. It's not locked. I love how nonchalantly she just... Oh dear. Keep going, tree. You can grow as big as you like. I think the problem is that okay, it might destroy the house. To disturb you, Papa. What is it? Well, it's not good. What do you mean, not good? I think you'd better come down and have a look at once. So you can see for yourself what's happening before it's too late. Too late? Well, that sounds a bit ominous. Don't worry, I'll sort it out, whatever the catastrophe. Now listen, you. You leave my husband's desk alone or you'll be sorry. <laughs> All right, dear, I'm coming. <gasps> well, this is definitely a catastrophe. I think you'd better get me a saw, Mama. <laughs> oh. Everything's in the cellar and it would be a bit 
difficult to get in there. Now. You know, I think it's just part of the voice acting, but I, I just, I just love how nonchalant the delivery is, or most of the lines is. Papa, you must try some. Oh, they're lovely and juicy. I hope you at least know what the fruit is. Oh, no. Just like, just like Moomin sticking his finger in that red juice, he was lucky to find out that it was raspberry, and not poisoned. I'll run and get some help. You do not have to, little one. Holy shit! Are you the hobgoblin, sir? I am he. I can see that you have found my hat. I thank thee. The fucking that character design. Doing remarkably well. However, away with thee. Whoa. Well then, that was dangerous. It is fine indeed, and you are lucky to have it, but I'm afraid it is not the King's Ruby I am looking for. What do you mean, King's Ruby? I have searched for it for hundreds of years, Moom and Mama. I'm afraid I am obsessed by it and cannot find it anywhere. Well, if we see it, we'll light a signal fire. You are most kind, madam, and I feel we shall meet again soon. This Chad rides a flying panther looking for some huge ruby with a magic ass hat. He's not bad for a hog goblin. <laughs> Come on, everybody, let's start stacking up all this wood. Okay, yeah, let's right. do it. Um, oh, oops. <laughs> I feel like there's actually going to be some forward moving story on this. Like involving the hobgoblin and this ruby thing. I'm so the hobgoblin's hat finally disappeared from Moomin Valley. Moomin rather missed having a never ending supply of raspberry juice, but his parents were more than happy that it had gone. Like, it seems like they're setting something up, and I'm down for that. Yeah, in interesting, interesting stuff. I love the designs. I love. I, I love the art direction. It's all so good. And I feel like maybe some maybe this is going to start picking up on some int on some really deep and interesting world building and oh my god, I'm down for that. I already love the characters. Little Mai's a little annoying. She's kind of she's kind of a brat, but I don't know I don't know how old she is. She kind of sound she kind of has the voice of a grown woman, but you know. She's probably like just a child. Bratty one, but you know. But again, I re I like the characters, I like the art, and like when they want to make some interesting, creepy designs, they don't hold back. When, with such a cute face of of the series, Moomin, this round Mameshiba bean. He's and then you and then you see stuff like what he became in the first episode and the hobgoblin's design and and the ant lion. Oh my god, I am I am down for this. Oh my god, I'm so down. I'm excited to get some some interesting fantasy world building. Okay, let's get into that. I want it injected into my veins. So constipated. Uh, I'm a dumbo. I'm a no good in ninny. No, you're not, Snork. You're very clever. No, I'm a failure, a flop, a frightful fraud, and a But your land ship was a success, wasn't it? Nice alliteration, Kids too. Stuff. Sun returned to the eastern sky when morning came, and everything started to get lighter and lighter. Oh, dear, everybody knows that. Even the stupidest reader, really. Wait, what did he say? I just see, I just see the colorful, cute character designs, and I can't help but think, what horrific creature is going to show up this episode? Oh my goodness, it's dark in there. Let's go in then. I don't like the look of it. We'd better stay out here. You never know who might live in there. Don't be silly. No one lives in there. That's what I don't like. Yes, exactly. A place with no one living in it is really scary. <laughs> I love the dialogue. I, think I look like a pinball! You come in, scaredy cat! You can't just go in like that! You can't! So tell me, 
Pin pinball? Oh, do go in then, Mr. Know it all. Stay where you want. Bowling you pin. What the fuck is a pinball? You're coming too, aren't you? Smart it, it's it, you can <laughs> I just had like five oh, brain farts in one in like in like can one statement. In case you get frightened? Okay, that's kind of adorable. I don't want anyone making a stuttering joke about me. Me too. Perhaps it's the wind. No, Snork Maiden. It sounds like I someone mean, moving. You can if you want to. <laughs> you can't scare me like that. No one lives here. Who'd want to live here anyway? It's dark and cold and... It's Moomin and Snufkin. They've climbed out and we can hear their voices in the distance. So we needn't worry. Why would they be moaning? No, it's not them. I'm gonna go and invest. Why would Moomin and Snufkin be moaning? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I love all of them. Well, to tell you the truth, I really haven't been quite myself lately. You haven't lost any more rare stamps, have you, Mr. Hemulin? On the contrary, Moomin. I have them all, even the rarest, every single one. <laughs> then what's wrong? That's good, isn't it? I mean, my collection is complete. Yeah, no one in the world has a better stamp collection than you have, Mr. Hemulin. No, of course not. Mine is perfect. There isn't a stamp I haven't got. Rare ones, old ones, misprinted ones, I have them all. If this is I going where I understand. think it's going... There's no challenge, nothing to search for. You're too young and you don't collect stamps. Oh dear me, dear me. I'm beginning to understand. He's not a collector anymore. He's got all the stamps he could ever want. Oh my god, it is! It's not half as much fun. That's why you're sad, isn't it, Mr. Hemulin? Yes, it is. No fun. No fun at all. Now I understand. I can see why you're upset. And me falling on top of you like that didn't really help, did it? Not exactly, Moo Man. Look who was taking a nap in the cave. That's <gasps> honestly you, kind of a mature so theme. Like, like, not an adult theme, but, like, it's not something you'd expect to see in, like, a kid show, you know? Like, the concept of, like, once the journey's over, you you don't have it anymore. Like, once the collection is finished, you don't, you don't have any more collecting to do. You're done. Your hobby's finished. Hang on, everybody! That water looks so clear, too. Again, this is just a pretty show. I've lost my confidence, and it makes me feel very unhappy. Well, it can happen to anyone, you know. Even to you? Well, not much, of course. Oh, I just noticed there's a lot of parallels in this in this How episode. Can I get it back? There must be a way. Well, it's hard to say. Everybody's different, but with me, it just happens. Uh. <laughs> we found a boat on the beach. Come and have a look. We're gonna repair it, and then it'll be ours. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. Come on, Snork. Let's take a look at this boat. It could be just the thing to cheer us both up. So it's got a sail. A oh my! White sail, you I think. just noticed that's how extremely interesting. I just noticed how Snork's glasses work. That is, that's mm, kind of brilliant for an anthro wearing glasses. I've never thought of. I never thought about that before. She's abandoned. So does that mean we can keep? I always just designed the glasses to to like go up to fix onto the to the ears. But I've never thought to have them, like, have, like, string going down. And the colors, too. Hot damn. Like, this this show just knows how to do, like, pretty stuff. Oh. Oh. She's so sweet. Are they all in bed, my dear? Also, I think I, I can see where uh, the, uh, the the character the the character arcs for uh, for uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hemulin and 
Mom and Papa and Snork are going. It should be finished very soon. Yes, I'm sure it will. That's what I was afraid of. What shall I do then, Snuffkin? Well, maybe you could start collecting something else. What do you think? Something else? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Anything, really. How about butterflies? No, my second cousin does that, and he's a complete idiot. It has <laughs> to be something interesting. Ornaments? <laughs> Ornaments? Yeah, you could collect those forever. Not scientific. Well, it's up to you, but I think you really ought to collect something, Mr. Hemulin. Yeah, I, li I like the... We're gonna launch the new boat! Alright, wait for me. I'm coming. I, li I like the character arcs in this episode. Perfect, Mama. Come on! About how, about how, you know, the whole thing about passion, passion and what you do, and, what's, and what happens when you lose the, and in, A, if you lose the confidence in, in your, in yourself, or B, if you've completed what you've set out to do. I've decided what I'm going to collect. Flowers, look, here's my first sample. It's a sweet briar, Rosa Rubiganosa. That's great. Good for you. Snork Maiden, I've just had a new idea for my flying ship. I'm certain it'll work this time. Of course it will, Snork. Good luck. And there it is. I'd better get on. Re All right, start paddling, everyone. Revitalization. I think I think this was just an episode. The, et the episode that was that was like, hey, they have a boat now, and that's fine. But um, I think. I like the fact that it fo it did focus on this dynamic of like what you do, like uh, Mr. Hemulin with his stamp collection. He finished it. His hobby was done. The thing he was passionate about came to an end. And what do you do at that point? And I feel like that's something that's not really tackled in like kid shows. Well, I wouldn't say that th this is more of a family show. This is like this is like this has a sort of. Winnie the Pooh kind of feel, where it's where it is, it's accessible to kids, but it's it's more a thing that everyone can enjoy. You know, I feel like that that kind of terminology has has fallen to the wayside in recent years because you know, but like th th this, like what what happened to just simple, cute shows that want to tell a story, that want to show characters doing interesting, fun things. You know, th this show off characters interacting with a world, you know? And, like, with this episode, it, it did the whole thing about, like, Snork and, um, Moom and Papa losing the passion for what they do. And in doing something else, it revitalized them. And with, uh, with Mr. Himulin, he had to, he found something new to do. He, he, he didn't revitalize the passion that he had, but he found a new passion. And I can really appreciate that. That's a that's a great that's a great that's a great lesson to have. Let's let's get into episode four, the desert island. You got to rough it a bit if you want an adventure. Yes, but it will be more fun with coffee and pancakes. I mean, she's got a point. Aren't you two ready yet? <laughs> Jesus. Chill with the sass. Hi, Snork Maiden! I had a feeling he was gonna fall. <laughs> Moomin is so cute, I love him. I mean, they're all cute. Are Mama and Papa ready yet? They're packing up half the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I don't actually like sailing much. Do you get sick? Well, not really sick. It's just that I can't swim. And if it's rough, it frightens me, and I panic a bit. Aww. It looks like it's going to stay. The poor cold. boy. So don't worry. Like I can get that. Right, that's the lot. I get sniff. Now This is the life, isn't it, Mama? It's, it's such a serene series. Like, sure, it can get get its creepy moments, but it's so peaceful. And just, like, looks lovely. Well, then. Didn't expect to see bare chests, did you? I've 
bet none of you will say no to coffee and pancakes. Definitely oh, not. In fact, I want some of that right now. Woman Mama's got the color of eggnog. I like. And what's this? Ah. Um. Um. I don't want to say living condoms, but. I see. This is your barometer, is it not? <laughs> you, know, you know what just came to my mind with this? Anchovies. <laughs> All you gotta do is make cheeseburgers for them. I have a feeling that's going to resurface. It, it, it's Chekhov's gun, it's been loaded. <laughs> right, get your breath back first, but don't forget to tie the boat to that tree before you come up. Uh, tie the... Tie the boat! That'll be trouble! Well, fancy that, I've never seen one of these before. Yep. That's gonna be trouble. Whoa. I know, but it's so exciting. Huh? Things which you have no control over. You can see this great big storm coming towards you, and you can't do anything about it. Jeez. No. You have to time it just right. Uh, uh, when to make a run for shelter, you mean? I knew you'd understand. Snufkin is an interesting character, I can say that for sure. After you. Aww. They're adorable. They're kind of horrifying in a way. Like just, just those single red dot eyes. What a find I made today! Yeah, but hopefully you don't lose the boat. Oh dear. Oh no. Is this going to be a cliffhanger? This was a cliffhanger! The, the Hattie Fatteners. Again, that's the hat the Hattie Fatteners. That sounds that sounds like some kind of fetish thing. But I'm not gonna judge, dude. Uh, if if you if you're if, if, if whatever your thing is is it's yours. I'm not I'm not judging. I'm not a, I'm not a scumbag kink shamer. You you do you, if you if you out there are a Hattie Fattener, you're fine by me. As long as long as you're as long as you're you know you you you're like a good person and stuff. That's really all that matters. So anyway. Episode five. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. Last episode left on uh, on one hell of a cliffhanger, so I'm excited to see where it where it goes from here. Like I didn't expect this show to get you know at least somewhat intense. I think that rope is getting loose. A sudden storm has hit the Happy Fatner's Island. Moon and Papa has decided that it would be far safer to stay the night on the island, so they put up the tent and moored the boat. It's it's just how beady their little eyes are. Like, like, Snork Maiden has red eyes, but she's, she's cute, because her eyes aren't, aren't beady. You know when you all went to put up the tent, you told me to tie up the boat so she was safe. I kinda didn't. Yeah, I fucked course. up. Well, I'm not sure if I did. Not sure at all. I, I, I kinda like Mr. Himulin. He's, he's, he's funny. Like, he's got, he's got the... The, he's got the old Time character quirks. Make sure it's tight. You know? Oh, that should do it. Just in time. You know, the waves must have been huge to have reached this far. Well, we saved the boat. Also, Snufkin's yes. a good friend. Is everything okay? Yep. 
Everything's fine. I'm very sorry. Really, I am. Are you all right, <clears throat> Snort Maiden? Now I am. They're adorable. They're all adorable. The fresh air will do me good. Wait for me. I'll come too. Let me in quick. I'm the man. There are hundreds of them all glowing. The Hattie Fat News. They're waiting for us. <laughs> That is way too intense of a statement for this adorable show. Why does this show? Must have Why does this show have sequences of intensity? You know? Ah, yes. Such a heavy storm would have given them lots and lots of energy. The ghosts of one night stands. They're not coming. Come, Moomin. When you're of age, you'll do it too. It's only a matter of time before you add to our numbers, Moomin. You can have that now. You know, that's horrible. <laughs> the poor boy got electrocuted. <laughs> The way they drew it was adorable, I can't help it. Like, yet again, Moomin Mama just shows that she's just this source of comfort for the group. Like, that, that is, that is the one thing that, like, like, that a mother should be. Like, if you're writing a mother, they need, like, the number one thing you should be considering is, are they a source of comfort? And Moomin Mama's just, she is. She does her best to just keep, like, to calm people who are, she, she, like, in the first episode, Moomin was d upset and distraught and sad. She did her best to comfort him, even though she didn't realize at first that this is my child. Also, Snuff can be in kind of ominous and cool and stuff. And then with, uh, Snork Maiden getting her, uh, her hair fried, she was... Moomin Mama was there to comfort her. Wake up, Moomin. We gotta hurry. Also, I haven't... I hadn't... I don't think I pointed out... The music is very nice in this show. I wonder where they're going. Perhaps they're sailing away to a secret island. Somewhere very far away from here, where they can live happily on their own, together. We're sailing off to the That's afterlife! Cool. They're really weird. Well, it depends on how you look at it, Moomin. They probably think we're a bit strange, too. That's actually a good moral. Simple, but good. That's a very pretty scarf, Snort Mater. She, yes, it is, isn't it? She looks super cute in that. Exploring, Mama? I don't see why not. What a good idea. I might discover some more plants. As long as you don't discover a new way to fuck us! Jeez, we could have been screwed! I'm gonna dive in! One is like... Okay. What's Ooh. that over there? <laughs> he heard his poor noise. It's quite shallow right here. Well, there must be something hidden in it. Oh dear, it's empty! Hey, what's this? 
look at this one. I've got a real collection here. They'll look lovely in Mama's garden. Aww. Wow, watch that. There's snow inside of it. Honestly, I'm... That's curious. What would a snow globe float? What is it? It's probably less dense than ocean water. Hey, everybody! I found something. Come on up and have a look. Have you found some buried treasure? Well then. What a big lady! Is she dead? <laughs> it's made of wood, Snork Maiden. It's a figurehead from the ship. <laughs> Okay, I was liking Snork Maiden already, mainly just because she was cute, but... <laughs> She's like a queen! No, I like her more! <laughs> what a big lady! Is she dead?! <laughs> it must have come from a ship that was wrecked. And sank at sea? Perhaps it did. Yes, imagine all the lives lost of those, of those poor sailors. Gone. Woman, why do you like this old figurehead so much? You're staring at her! She's not all that special, you know. Yes, I know. I just think she has a very beautiful face. <laughs> well, Moomin, now that you're here, I could really do it. I hope home. I'm not ruining what do you want, this. This is how I, this is how I experienced something, you know. Hole, and I'm going to try and get it. <laughs> like, be happy that you guys weren't there to listen to me and to me and Sam watching uh, uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, the jokes we made! I wish I had them on record. Okay. Go and get Moomin, Papa. I found gold. Boy, oh boy! I wonder how much there is. Holy shit! In today's money, well, Papa, you people are what millionaires. Do with all this beautiful gold. Mm, it would look lovely in the garden, don't you think? I'm sure they will, Papa. I'm sure they will. Also, like th this is just my artist Moomin, speaking. She's only a stupid legless doll. But uh, the the lines under Moomin Mama's the eyes, end of like first adventure in the new boat. I'll talk about it in a second. Moomin Papa decided that it was much more fun to set off without maps and sea charts. You never know where you might end up. You might end up lost. But yeah, I was just saying um, about the the sim the simple lines under Moomin Mama's eyes. Those are a great those are a great way to indicate either age or or um, like not exhaustion, but um, like. Experience, I guess. Like it's it's it 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 it's an indicator of not tiredness, but I don't know. It's hard to explain. It it gives a certain feel to a character design, you know. And and I really like it. And I've seen in previous episodes that Moomin Mama and Moomin Papa would would have a uh, the two lines but beside their eyes when they're smiling, indicating crow's feet. And it's just, it's just so fascinating from an artist standpoint that two, that one or two simple lines can change an entire character design. It, it's fascinating. That's why, that's why, that's why I love art and stuff. And just, it's just those subtleties in design that really just, just, just are amazing, you know. So uh, yeah, that was that, that was fun. Now, that was a good episode. Like, again, I, I'm just impressed that this cute little show manages to actually have moments of, oh, oh, shit, are they, are they going to make it out of this? Are they, are they going to be stranded on the island? Are they going to have to make a raft to get off or something? Are, are the Hattie Fatners going to descend and devour Mr. Hamulin alive for, for stealing their barometer? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I honestly... I honestly don't know what to expect. I know it's a family-friendly show, and I probably shouldn't expect too much, but this is... This feels more like, you know, when PG actually meant something. Because it feels like this show wants to have moments of, you know, could potentially be scary to younger kids, you know? But, uh, yeah. I'm loving this show so much. I don't have any more episodes ready. Plus, it's time for me to get time for me to stop working now. I have a set schedule, and I need to keep to it. So that was my reaction to the first five episodes of Moomin. I have more episodes already ready to go into the editing bay, so I hope you're excited for those. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, 
please leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot on this channel to offer and a lot of cool things coming up. Please leave a comment about your favorite parts of the video. And if you want to see the uncut versions, they go up on my coffee page way before the fully edited versions come out on the channel. All of your support goes a long way, no matter how little. And don't forget, we've also got stretch goals currently on the channel. If we get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2021, I will play and beat Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. And if we somehow get up to 10,000 this year, that will guarantee me playing the RPG Maker game called Changed for the channel. So please, share these videos with people you think will enjoy them if you want to help this channel grow, and I will see you next time. Stay tuned.